So you have a picture of of uh, Lenin. Lenin, yes. And uh, so do you support communism or, or uh, what? I'm with the Fellow Travelers Community Action Group. My group is a Marxist-Leninist organization. We're okay. hosting the demonstration tonight. So yes, I support communism. And so are all these people part of your organization here? No. Uh, I actually, I think I'm the only one on this side right now. Okay. Hi. What's your name? I'm fine. You're, I'm you're, you're what? I don't want to give a comment. No comment. Uh, who are you guys with and why are you here? And I don't well, feel like you, talking to your camera, sorry. Are you sorry. hiding too? Okay. You hiding too? <laughs> you, want, you, want, you, you can talk behind the flag if you want to. You don't have to put your camera on face. Why are you here, bud? Okay, he wants to hide behind the flag. <laughs> you vote for Trump because we'll beat the shit out of you right now. Oh, what, what, say that again? Say that again? What did you say? If we voted for Trump, what? <laughs> You're going to beat the shit out of me? What do you hope to accomplish, my friend? Here, we just want to spread awareness of what we're trying to do to tell people that you don't need to go to the Democrats who are just going to exploit you, pretend that they want to help you out, and see, we want those people to see that there's other ways to get your power. What are you out here for, man? I'm out here protesting the same as they are. I'm out here in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement, with LGBT people against Trump, and against and against Pence and all the ideology which they both collectively represent. So what's your, biggest, uh, what's your biggest beef? Trans issues and conversion therapy supported by Mike Pence. Donald Trump, KKK, race the sexist and too gay. So you got Porky Pig go home. What, what, what's the message you're trying to send? Porky go home. They're, they're, Porky go home? They're an occupying army. We're in many peaceful, neighborhoods. We're a peaceful protest. There's no reason for the uh, police to be here. They're acting as an intimidating force. Okay. The police act as the foot soldiers of the ruling class. I mean, a person like me walks on the street and gets shot. Does a cop go to jail? No. A person like him gets shot. Does the cop go to jail? No, the cop gets a fucking paid vacation. Why is that? And in this government, are we gonna have that? Nah. What's the shirt you got on there, bud? This is Vladimir Ilyich Ulyanov. You could know him better as Lenin. We're back. And, oh, this, so, is a, and okay. this is a Mao badge. And so, do you support communism? Is that what, is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, okay. I am a communist. Okay. We're all Marxist Leninists. <laughs> you're Marxist Leninist? <laughs> yep. But you are. The, the, uh, our organization, the Fellow Travelers, we're a Marxist Leninist organization. We're here in solidarity with all oppressed people of the world. We're here with anarchist comrades. We're here with leftist comrades. We're trying to raise awareness. All and bring, your money, all your life. As you can see, we we're trying to bring popular power uh, and speak truth to power and speak truth to the Donald Trump administration and catch it in a popular resistance before it even begins. Thank you. You, you said you support the Marxist Leninism. Can, can you? Yeah. Elaborate. How would you uh, like to see the country modeled? Can you give me like a country that you can see it modeled after? Uh, yeah, the USSR, Communist USSR? China, for example. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, United not, States, not, not Communist China. Oh, no, so you now. think it, that the country would be better off being in more in line with China or like Russia? No. We're gonna head out. Well, well Soviet Russia, maybe like during, say like. Right. Oh, so not today's Russia, but like no. under Stalin. Yeah, Stalin, Lenin, even. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. We're saying this is what democracy looks like on the uh, I, uh, during your march. How does that jive with the uh, communism? Are you asking me about the relationship between democracy and communism? Yes. Well, I would say that if people can't control how they live their lives because they're held captive by wage labor, that can't be called democratic. If two capitalist parties are the only options people have during elections, that can't be called democratic. Uh, if there's an entire shadowy system of national security state which decides who we invade and when, that's not democracy. And so I think that the uh, ownership of the means of production by the people uh, and by the workers uh, means that people will have real control over their lives. One, two, three, four! I declare a class war! How does that compare with you say you're supportive of communism and Marxism? Yes. How does that actually, uh, how does democracy fit into that equation? Well, have you read Marx? I'm, ask, I'm asking you well, the question. Well, I have already told you, economic freedom is an integral part of democratic freedom. One, two, three, four. I declare a class war. Five, six, seven, eight. Burn the ballot, smash the 
say? So Marxism is democratic? Marxism is necessarily democratic. So because the people choose to be under communist rule? Because the masses have direct control over their lives. We all need to get organized, and he's right. We need to unite, and we need a common enemy. We need to get militant, and we need to be strong, and we need to stand together. Not yeah. 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 stand together, all yeah. stand together. Yeah. This is our revolution, and we need to remember that. What does it matter if I pick up a gun tomorrow and start shooting cops? What does it matter? But you seem to forget that that we're capable of. And we have every right to form a militia and, and fight back. So stand up in solidarity. Don't forget that.